Hi guys, John. Sharice. And we're the owners of Titan Medical Center. Thank you for joining us today. And today we have a special guest for you. We have one of our Titan athletes, Big Drew in the house. He was gonna answer some questions for us. Uh, so Big Drew, great having you here today. Great to be here. First off, thanks for ABC for letting us come in here. I'm excited about this. The studio is great. It's Titan, so I'm ready to do it. All right, so let's give some, some uh, background information to the audience. So how old are you, Drew? I'm 38 years old. I've been training for bodybuilding training for about 10 years. Before that, it was football, basketball, track. So okay, so overall around sports. Pretty like, much since I was eight, seven years old, I've been active, always active. Very cool, very cool. And in the, the health and fitness world, okay, per se, how long have you been in that world? And, and you know, what's been your experiences? Uh, health and fitness, I've been training and doing meal plans and competing as a bodybuilder for about 10 years. Uh, my experience is I train clients that do online meal plans. I'm in the gym basically every single day. That's what I love to do. So I actually get paid to do what I love to do. But um, experience, I've been here for 10 years. I've been training at different gyms down here. Yeah. When I first moved down here, I came down from Boston in 06. Mm -hmm. uh, I started training and it just snowballed from there. Where I'm from, it snows all the time. No one wants to show off their body. So I came to Florida. Yeah. My sisters were running track. I wanted to be in shape. So I just, it just flew off from there. Awesome. I love it. I love it now. Love and it how long have you been with Titan Medical Center? I've been with Titan Medical Center almost about a year now. Um, it's coming up to a year. Um, it's like family to me. I've been with other people before. This is definitely where I belong. And especially with optimal health and getting my blood work done, everything's good now. So no more worrying anymore with Titan. You know, they do your blood work, they make sure everything's good. Yep. So as a bodybuilder, we do a lot of stuff to our bodies, whether it's supplementation or food. Mm -hmm. So it's very important to get your blood work done. I feel great, I look great, so I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I feel younger every day, so I mean, I'm loving it. Looking younger, feeling younger yeah, is always a good thing, right? Always a good thing, yeah. Well, can always. you tell us a little bit about how Titans helped you and helped you maybe excel at certain things? Uh, Titans actually helped me excel with my bodybuilding show that I competed at November 9th and the 22nd. Uh, November 9th, I did the West Palm show. I won that oh, wow. to compete for the U.S. Championships. Yeah. That one didn't go so well, but um, in terms of how Titan helped me, um, it made me realize that during my prep for these competitions, my body was always lethargic. I was always tired. I was always not feeling well. Mm -hmm. This time wasn't the case. Because I got my blood work done, because everything was regulated, I felt good now. So everything was, it was a lot easier to just focus and do what I have to do. As bodybuilders, a lot of us don't get our blood work done right. because we're scared to, we can't afford it, or whatever the case may be. Here at Titan, the blood work's cheap, get it done. I mean, it's gonna help you guys a lot. I mean, yeah. you, there's no more worrying. Like, worrying will stress your body out more than anything. So if you're worrying what's going on with your body, you don't know what's going on with it. Get the blood work done. It's like it's like like the Lion King. It's like Hakuna Matata. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so what th therapies are your favorite Titan therapies? I should say. Uh, favorite know. therapies. We've got a lot. We've yeah, got a lot. I have my top three. It will be uh, MK six seven seven, which is like an uh, it's almost like an oral growth hormone. Okay. It does pretty much a similar thing. That helps me sleep. It helps me eat a lot better and helps me obviously push more weight and get more lean muscle mass. Okay. Anybody can get mass, but that helps lean muscle tissue. Right. It's a big difference. Right. Um, ECA, uh, it's a federal caffeine and aspirin mix. Yeah. Um, I use that before I train. Also, before I have to do things like this where I need a little bit of energy, a little bit of a boost. Mm -hmm. um, coffee was ruining my teeth. Mm -hmm. So I, now I do maybe one cup a day and go with the ECA. So that helps me a lot. And the last one would have to be the Hercules potion. Okay. That stuff gives you a pump <laughs> unlike anything you've ever heard of. of. Yeah. Um, Bodybuilders were always ingesting stuff to get a better pump, better veins. And what happens is it messes up your stomach. Mm -hmm. It's harder to train, um, digestion problems, heartburn. With the Hercules, it goes straight to the muscle, and that's the only thing I want to affect anyways, yeah. so I feel great off of it. Photo shoots, uh, bodybuilding competitions, get pumped for the beats, that stuff works perfect, yeah. perfect. Hercules Poston is definitely one of my favorites, too. Yeah, I, I think a it. lot of other people like it, too. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, one of the biggest benefits, too, right, with Hercules Potion is because it's with a little baby insulin syringe. Right, so you're not right. taking it orally. It's not such right. a hit to the liver. Exactly. Yeah. It doesn't have to pass through your liver. And also with the digestion, too. A lot of times I'll eat a big meal before I train to give me energy. Yeah. And when I take these caffeine, other supplements, um, it doesn't, it doesn't give me the pump I need because it interferes with the absorption. Whereas with Hercules, I could take it, I am intramuscular, it's not gonna affect the absorption. So I could take Hercules and eat and go straight to the gym yep. and not have to worry about my stomach being messed up. The worst thing you guys wanna have when you're working out is have your stomach full of food yeah. and bad quality supp uh, energy drinks or something yeah. like that. that. That mix is not good, so Hercules yeah. is perfect. So I do Hercules, ECA, and I take my MK6 right after I'm done training. 
Nice, nice. So that's a good mixture for you, and, and that's the biggest thing. So yeah. with Titan Medical Center, we're not a cookie cutter place. Right. So everybody's regimens could be different. You know, what could be best for you might be not be best for somebody else, right. and vice versa. Uh, and we were talking about the supplementation with the the little baby insulin needle. Yeah. So a lot of people don't realize. They say, what's the difference between an oral version and an injectable version? Right. Um, well, it's big difference. The big difference is transportation rate, the absorbency rate that you were talking about, um, not getting broken down the gastro tract going down there the higher absorbency um, going right into the bloodstream and getting the best effects right. and with Hercules potion you get the the, the vasodilation so the, the pump exactly. is really good but that's just the instant gratification that people you know they see they feel right away where the recovery is there the immune system boosting the anti-fatigue like amino acids that are in there to let them do more exercise or strenuous activity it's really really cool so I'm glad you're getting all these benefits from these therapies I'm loving as well. it I'm loving it and the last thing too with the Hercules these two is um a lot of times people aren't regulating their gut health they're not taking probiotics enzymes so their digestive systems is, is all messed up so it doesn't matter what pill you take vitamins it could be uh, hercules anything you take orally yeah. if your gut isn't intact you don't have good gut health right. you don't have the good bacteria and the probiotics and the enzymes needed yeah. then taking that oral stuff isn't going to work anyways because yeah, you don't have I, good gut health yeah so when you take it i am you don't have to worry about any type of ingestion problems it works perfect so we want to thank Big Drew for coming in. Thanks, Drew, for coming in. I Thanks appreciate it. Thanks a lot. It was a pleasure to be here. Um, I love ABC Studios. It's a great studio. I'm looking forward to coming back in here, too. We want to make sure we also thank all of our viewers for tuning in, and we really appreciate all of you guys giving us all the support that you do. Stay tuned. we got a lot more coming for you guys in health, fitness, and a lot more. What's up, guys? John here in the office uh, with both my nurse practitioners, one Chanel and one with Stephanie. And Chanel's actually getting her blood drawn right now. So, you know, she's getting her blood drawn because I think she wants to know what's going on the inside of her body, just like our patients. We do blood draws now in the office. So you actually get your blood drawn by a nurse practitioner, which is pretty good. And it's really above board. Um, and we can do this right in the office so we can get the results a lot faster, you guys. It can be more convenient to you guys, so you guys will get this extra service from Titan Medical Center. What do you think, Chanel? Absolutely. I mean, Stephanie here is a really good stick. I barely even felt that. So, I mean, what better opportunity to just come in, get your labs drawn, and then get yeah. IV fluid if you want some. Absolutely. Feel great. Look yeah. great. Yeah. Perform all better. Well. That's what it's all about. So, not only will she get her blood drawn, so after the blood's drawn with the exact same poke or stick, she can actually get an IV right afterwards. So she doesn't have to get stuck twice. She can do two things at one time. So you can come in for your IV and get your blood drawn all at the same time with one stick. So it's very easy, very convenient, and you get everything done all at the same time. So it's gonna be really, really cool. I'm really excited about this. So the IVs are, are, are a big thing for us. I think it's gonna let patients uh, get some different things in them a lot faster, feel better, and get some of these results that we're really looking for. Absolutely. Really cool. And what better? So you know our nurse practitioners practice exactly what they preach. So they get their blood drawn, they do the therapies, they do the IVs, so they know what you patients can expect. And obviously we want to feel good, look good, perform good too, just like you guys do. So that's why we're doing this. So we want to document it, show you guys. And uh, if you guys need help with any of this as far as blood work or IVs, you guys can always call or text 727-389-3220 and we can set you up and hook you up. So, I'm really excited. I think we're almost done here, Steph, huh? Yep, we are. Oh, She's yeah. all finished. So, we've already got the blood drawn. It was that quick, that fast, that easy. So, now we're going to do the IV portion. So, the IV portion might take a little bit longer. It just depends on what you're going to get in the IV and how long you're going to make it for. Normal time is between 45 minutes and about an hour, hour and 15. And you guys can get all kinds of cool stuff in there. So with Chanel, she's going to get arginine in there, which is really cool. You're going to love the arginine. Vasodilation. Vasodilation, right? Going to the gym after. Whoop, she's going to get that nice pump. It's going to hold. Blood flow is going to be great for a number of different things. So uh, I'm excited about that. She's also got glutathione. Glutathione, super antioxidant. Right? Absolutely. So this is great. So 
free radicals, good for we're fatty livers, helping ALT, AST, free that radicals. That's loose season. Loose <laughs> season. Staying, you know, immune system boosted while she's in the gym because, you know, other people go to the gym, they might be sick. So they might be bringing those cooties in there or those germs. And you want to stay, you know, as strong as possible. And we know that when she works out or anybody works out, you work out hard, you're breaking down the immune system. You're putting stress on the body. So this is going to help boost that immune system back up. Awesome. So the Vita Complex, B Complex in here. So you got B1, B3, B2, B6, and B5. A lot of different things. Energy, processing fats faster than the liver. So I'm excited about that nice B Complex. Ooh, L-carnitine. Another good one. So this is this is a couple of their Hercules potions, some of their time complete. But we know when she's gonna get these, they're gonna be in the body a lot faster and the absorbency is gonna be a lot higher. The only thing that's higher than an intermuscular injection is intravenously, like she's getting. So she's getting these right into her bloodstream, right where she needs them right now. So guys, with this great IV, we've got all these different things in there like B-complex, glutathione, arginine, lysine. With these different components, we also put biotin in here. So biotin, do you want to explain to them what biotin does? I think all the girls out there know pretty much. Well, I mean, it's just basically fantastic for overall hair health, and I already use it in our hair health capsules yep. pretty religiously and have seen a huge difference. So if you have the opportunity to get it right into yeah. the body like this and utilize it really well, I mean, why not, right? Why not? Why not? <laughs> So you get a better absorbency, faster transportation rate with the biotin in there. You know what you're getting. This is not an over-the-counter supplement. So when you're getting this, it's doctor prescribed and coming from the US licensed pharmacy. So you know what you're gonna get. So not only will you get the benefit, let's say you're taking the hair health capsules from us, because that's a big one for us, especially for guys and girls, hair, skin, and nails, very important. But getting the injectable, so you can get all your B-complex or glutathione or whatever it may be through IV and just pop that biotin in there for an extra added benefit for you. Why not? If you're here and getting it done, you might as well get it done right. So it's definitely the way to go. So if you want better hair, skin, and nails, the Biotin IV can be here for you. So call us, text us, let us know if you want this IV or more. We will be able to help you out. 727-389-3220. Got work to do. <laughs> That's awesome. So we got nurse practitioners here, so they're going to be able to work and do the IVs at the exact same time. Dedicated so to my patients. We got to give dedicated patients, got to get them feeling good, keep them feeling good the whole time so we can get everything done here at Type Medical Center because we got a lot of work to do. So keep this in mind. If you guys maybe are, have your own office, you guys are local, Type Medical Center might be doing concierge medicine to you guys. So keep an open eye because we might be offering that service very, very soon. All right, guys? IVs, we'll let Chanel do what she needs to do, and we'll head on to what we need to do. Titan Talk Tuesday's coming. Hey guys, John here. Charisse. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner segment just for you guys. In Cupid's Corner, we cover everything from relationship tips, tricks, things that we've used in our past and our relationship that should help your relationship go to the next level or reignite those flames that might have been just simmered out just a little bit. So let's talk about some of the things that we get asked or we might think that might benefit your relationship. So the first one is, uh, being able to dismiss problems. Now, this goes over a couple different subjects, but the main one at hand is, is don't encourage people to interfere with your relationship. If I and Sharice went out somewhere and Sharice, let's say, had to go to the bathroom and I was sitting at a bar per se, and some girl came up to me at the bar, um, that I wasn't encouraging this girl. I wasn't acting like, A, I'm single, two, I might be, you know, entertained by this girl or might want to get this girl's number or have some relationship with this girl, we don't encourage it. I don't encourage it. I don't think Sharice would encourage it. And you don't want that problem because if your significant other comes back or Sharice comes back, there could be problems and drama. Very serious problems for, for that girl, yes. Right, so you don't want that. So don't encourage, uh, you know, another person to come up to you or encourage them to flirt with you 
If they do come up to you, you should be able to dismiss it in a nice, courteous way. Hey, listen, I'm here with my wife, my girlfriend, my significant other. I don't think they would like that, and I don't think that I want to be a part of this conversation. Thank you very much, and go on your way. You know, that's probably the way that I would handle it. And Females would, are different too, though. I mean, you can easily just be like, eh, sorry, you know, I am here with someone else, or you can be like me and just be mean. But, I mean, that's just totally up to you. But what he's saying is basically not to encourage the behavior or have them sit next to you so that way when your significant other comes back, they're trying to figure out why you are now sitting with another individual or allowing this individual to put their arm around you or maybe flirt with you a little bit yeah. because we've been in this scenario quite a few different times to be honest <laughs> sure. with you, but maybe more than a few. But I mean, we've learned over time how to handle it. And I mean, we've been in that situation because Back in the day, I would say, what was it, 10 years ago, 11 years ago? Yeah. We were constantly in the nightclub industry with our normal day jobs, okay? So when you're in that atmosphere, a lot of different things happen. Mm -hmm. Whether there's guys or girls that are hitting on your significant other, mm -hmm. guys or girls that come to you and try to stir the pot about your significant other, saying, mm -hmm. oh, did you see so-and-so at you know the bar checking out your man or whatever it might be. You know, so there's little things that you can do to just avoid these problems because these things can escalate into not very, very uh, good situations. Absolutely. And it can always have, have problems with the relationship and will add problems. Mm -hmm. As far as, you know, that little thing could stem a big fight or argument, which could go and, and stem to different things of you guys breaking up or problems at home or issues that you don't even want to be involved in. I mean, who wants the drama? You know, some guys, you know, I've talked to some of my friends, they think it's funny and they'll, you know, they'll be going out with a girl, they'll have other girls come up and dance on them. And now they don't encourage it. They don't say, hey, listen, get away from me. But, you know, they're like standing there and they're like, oh, you know. It's letting like, it happen. Letting it happen pretty much <laughs> at that point. And, and that's just not good. You know, it can create insecurities mm -hmm. for your partner and could, that can stem different problems down the line in your relationship. Mm -hmm. So don't encourage other people to interfere with their, your relationship or don't let them. You know, that's another thing that she brought up was a good point. You know, people might see you happy or might see things that they want and they will come and they will try to stir the pot like Cherie said. Sabotage it. They will try to sabotage it. This could be a family member. This could be a friend. This could be a, some person that wants your significant other. So at that point, you really got to watch your back, watch your six and make a really, you know, a true decision based on your heart, your feelings and your gut instinct. Mm -hmm. So that's a big one. So if you think that it could be true, what these pretty people are saying, then you could probably find out. But don't let them just interfere with what you're thinking about or have you start thinking about crazy situations or scenarios. Or that, jump off the handle and just That freak might out. not be true, right? Don't assume, always go to them and ask. Now, some people might not be truthful to you about that in the relationship, and that's when you'll find out other ways. And at that point, you can assess the situation and determine what you want to do. But don't just make radical thoughts or claims to make you have these problems, all right? So that's a big one, I it's think. Avoidable. Right? It's, it's avoidable. It's definitely avoidable. It's avoidable. And I promise, if you guys are on the same page, you know, you guys are going to have a way better relationship. It's going to be a stronger relationship because nothing can get in between you guys. That's what me and Sharice, nothing gets in between me and her, okay? So we know each other back and forth. We know what each other is going to say. We've been in these scenarios. It's tried and true. Now, there might be some people out there that think, hey, listen, I don't care if people, you know, hit on my significant other or that might be a compliment or yeah, some such and such, whatever it is, it. right? And that's, that's, that's fine, you know, different strokes for different folks, right? They might like different things. <laughs> but, you know, for a majority of the population out there, I don't think anybody likes to see that happen uh, or it doesn't make them feel good. So at that point, you want to make your partner feel secure like we talked about. Now, not over secure. So at that point, like they shouldn't have to text you or call you a million times a day, but you should definitely make it special for your partner. Make them think that they're special. You know, we talked about a text message, a picture might go a long way in the day. Hey, love you, honey, or I hope you're doing good. I'm thinking, thinking about you. you. Exactly. Right? These these are things that, you know, like, oh wow, you know, she's really thinking about me. I really appreciate that. You know, and at that point it's it's 
very in the moment. So it's non-predictable. These people aren't expecting you to text them but or give them a call or whatever it may be. But when you get that call or text message or picture, it might brighten your day or bring you out of a, a place that you were in a bad point in that day and bring you up to a higher point. Yeah, I agree. You know, so it, just, it, it, it will benefit the relationship a long, long way. All right, so that's another big one, I think. I've come a long way, too, because I used to badger John. I mean, badger him pretty bad. About yeah. every five minutes, he would get a message like, hi, how you doing? What are you doing? Hi, yeah. what are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Let me yeah. call you. What are you doing? <laughs> so it's only because I was just so in love with John. <laughs> so, I mean, how could I not text him every five minutes? Yeah. Be, but, be yeah. secure. Be, be secure about your relationship. Don't overdo yeah. it. Don't be overbearing. Males and females. I've seen this on both both ways. Don't be over jealous or overbearing. Okay. Now, you know, there's certain things that you guys will set as uh, boundaries in your relationship, and there's certain boundaries you will set over time because over time you guys will, you know, learn each other. You guys will learn each other. You guys will be in different scenarios and situations that you guys might have to set boundaries for going forward. Mm -hmm. All right. So the biggest thing is is to talk about these boundaries. Make sure you guys are on the same page with these boundaries. Communication. We've we've mentioned this a, a lot in these. Especially in Cupid's Corner, mm -hmm. I think it was one of our first or, first or second episodes mm -hmm. we talked about communication mm -hmm. and how important it is because everything stems from communication. Mm -hmm. But once you set these boundaries, you guys are on the same page. As long as you guys stick to that game plan and stay strong, I think you guys will be really, really well off and, and the relationship will flourish more and more as far as that goes. Absolutely. Right? I agree 100%. Yes. So don't be overbearing. Make sure you're showing your partner affection and love, right? In both scenarios. You know, whether you're out in front of in the public or at home, you guys want to show this this love and affection. Um, and don't be scared to talk to your partner. Communication. Communication is key. I'm telling you, it's very, very important. You've got to be able to talk about it. If you can't talk about it or you feel like you can't talk about it, then you need to sit down and talk about how you can't talk about it. Right. Now, if you guys can't get past that part, yep. then maybe we should reevaluate some of the things in the, the situation and your relationship because it just might not be meant to be. Uh, not every relationship is going to work out. We know right. that, okay? Especially with the population out there right now. I think we're over a 50% divorce rate. That's, that's crazy. I mean, it's how could you not be rate. at a 50% divorce rate? Let's be serious, okay? Because yeah. now I want to bring this up. You have like the Tinders and the chats and the snaps and the this this dating site and that dating site and you can swipe on all kinds of devices and get to people and places and yeah. hang out in the corner. I'm, it's, it's like, honestly, it could just call me old school maybe, but I mean, there's a lot of different ways out there to, you know, be doing your own thing on the side or whatever it might be. So that's that could be very well why a little bit anyway, why there might be such a high divorce rate. Also, when we were growing up, you know, me and John don't come from broken households. So both of our parents were married until he was 21, right? And I, both of my parents were married until I was 21. Yeah. So we grew up with both of the parents in the household at the same time, which makes a big difference, obviously, for the kids and everything like that. Yeah. But I feel like back then, if your parents were divorced, it was like, oh my goodness, your parents are divorced? That is like, that is insane. What do you mean your parents are divorced? Nowadays, it's like your parents are together? What? Yeah. No way, your parents are together? Yeah. Which parents are together? I've already had three stepmoms. So, I mean, I don't know what's changed in this past like 20 years or 30 years or whatever it is, yeah. but I feel like it's like that's the norm now, but it's really not. That is not the norm. Like It shouldn't be the norm. I mean, everybody, like I said, has to go through those situation scenarios. So this isn't for everybody. Some people might've had to get out of a relationship or whatever mm -hmm. it may be, but you know, really sticking and staying strong in the relationship, you know, sticking it out. You're, you're, you're making yourself a commitment mm -hmm. and you're making the other person a commitment. And in marriage, you're making vows. You're, you're making vows. And, and a lot of times in front of God, okay, depending on where you did your ceremony or how your wedding went down, but these vows should be taken sacred. These are sacred vows that you're saying out loud and you're saying to this person, you know, you should be true to these vows, you know, make it a point and make it a priority to stick to your promise to that person. You know, whatever it may take, you, you exhaust every possible option that you can with that person to make it work. Now, sometimes that other person might not be giving that same effort towards you, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, if you can sit in your mind and look yourself in the mirror and say, listen, I did absolutely everything I possibly could to help and save this relationship or to make it better, then you can sleep well at night and look yourself in the mirror. Some people just are looking for the easy scapegoat or 
they're getting uh, interference or they're getting persuaded by possibly or possible something from the outside. Like she said, technology is a great thing, but it could be a bad thing too. And we know because all these, these, these little hookup sites and dating sites and sliding people's DMs and stuff like that. <laughs> so that brings us to another point. Like, you know, don't encourage this behavior. If, if somebody inboxes you in your DM and starts hitting on you, and you talk to them back or you encourage that, they're gonna think it's okay and they're gonna keep doing it. Now, if your partner finds this, they're gonna be insecure, they're like, what's going on here? And how many other people have you done this with? Exactly, if you did it once, how many other times have you done this? You've only might have been one message, but it does open the door for that thought. And then when those, when those thoughts go through people's minds, they sometimes create crazy scenarios in their head that they think is true <laughs> and it really isn't true. But you gave them that ammo to really think like that. So if you don't give them the ammo, they shouldn't think like that. And if they think like that and you haven't given them any ammo, mm -hmm. then you should maybe possibly reevaluate the situation or scenario or relationship that you're in mm -hmm. because it might be unhealthy for you. And that's another thing. Don't stay in unhealthy relationships. Yeah. You know, there's healthy relationships, there's unhealthy relationships. You guys should know better which is healthy and which is not. So really, that's the best of tips and tricks that we could possibly give on these scenarios and situations. Mm -hmm. um, and as far as don't encourage people, right? Make your significant other feel special. Don't be overbearing to them, right? And watch technology. It could be good and could be bad. Let it work for you and not against you. Yeah, technology. That's a big one. Yeah. And you know, we've got to make sure that these girls don't get dragged out of the uh, bar by their hair. That yes. was terrible, terrible, terrible situation. So yes, please take our advice. Take the advice, run with it, apply it to a relationship. I guarantee it will help it for sure. If you guys got any more feedback, you guys got questions, you guys would like us to talk about a certain subject, please write us, DM us, let us know. We'd be happy to help you guys out in any way, shape, or form, uh, especially from the experience that me and her have. We have a vast experience for love, relationship, as far as our business, all together, 24 hours a day. So, you know, if people were gonna probably kill each other, it would probably be me and Cherise. Yep. Now, this might not be the optimal situation <laughs> scenario for most couples out there, but it works for us, and you might have a scenario that works best for you. So that's really what it's about. Make sure you're happy, make sure your partner is happy, and you guys will have a happy life together. I agree. Yeah. So I'm John. I'm Sharif. We appreciate you guys for tuning in to Cupid's Corner every Sunday, 11 a.m. ABC. Please follow us on our social medias, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and don't forget YouTube, guys. Please subscribe. You guys will see all different types of videos of me, Sharif, Titan Medical Center, and all the good stuff we have. See you next Sunday. We appreciate it. We'll see you then. Bye.